And speaking of that, a trailer dropped today, and I told you it was out, and you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So Craven the Hunter. Ha ah, man. I don't understand why Hollywood has to make not to just say they have to make a lot of changes because they do that. They make changes based on what they think is going to work, which is fine. Make your changes. But they never make changes for the better. It always seems to be redundant to some other kind of a franchise. They never know how to, you know, pull off a great like, OK, we're going to change this, but it's going to be a little bit different. And so you got this article on Bounding in the Comics, new Craven the Hunter trailer changes Craven's origins and gives them superpowers. And I'm T, I'm like, I don't I don't understand why. Why? And, and again, it's Craven time, I guess. It's gonna be just like Morbius. It's in that same Morbius universe. But you liked Morbius, didn't you? No, I didn't like Morbius. <laughs> T, I oh, you, was doing, you were like, man, Morbius is awesome. <laughs> no, it was no. That it was shot bad, us. Man. <laughs> This is Sony. This is what we get from Sony. This is probably the worst trailer I've seen. With a big budget trailer, this is the worst trailer I've seen in a couple of years. This is awful, dude. Do not go see this movie. This is not Craven the Hunter, man. This is awful, dude. This dude is terribly miscast in this. Terribly miscast in this. This is this is a waste of Russell Crowe. This is a waste of this actor, man. This is not a good movie, dude. At all. I can yeah. tell you right now, this movie is going to. And now, remember, I was telling you a couple weeks ago, but I haven't seen a Craven trailer, man. He was like, don't you worry. You were saying that. Yeah, you were like a little worried said, about it. No, nope, they, they heard you, T. They said, we better hurry up and get this thing out before I T don't want to see this. I don't want to see this, D. This is, <laughs> this is, this is basura. This is terrible, dude. This I is mean, I'm like, not, I was going to say, this looks like it was made by the makers of Morbius. If you said this was, who made this movie? I would say, if I didn't know anything, I would say, Whoever made Morbius made this movie. And yeah, that's exactly what are you this forgetting thing is. Venom too? This is like a Venom movie. Like, it's like, what are we what are we doing here? You got Man. lucky with the first Venom, dude. You got yeah. lucky. You got lucky. And all this other stuff, this is not this makes you say, Man, dude, come on. It's pretty simple, dude. It's pretty freaking simple, dude. And y'all are you just this is this was one of the most lackluster. I mean, I well, I would say this. Here's the what. Here's the one thing I think they figured out and they learned from the Morbius situation. It's clearly going to be hard R. It's clearly going to be a hard R because there's plenty of blood in this thing. Ooh. This trailer has plenty of blood. So at least they learned that lesson. Like, oh, you know what? Morbius probably fell off a little bit because we didn't go as hard as we could. These cats went hard in the paint with the violence. So I'd give them that. That at least you guys decided to go into it with the full hey man, we're giving y'all all the violence you could possibly want. That's fine. But, yeah, but everything dude, else about this trailer is just what's the scary. first thing that came to your mind when you saw this? Remember, could you text me and say, T, check this out? What was the first thing that came to your mind? The first thing that came to my mind, besides the fact that it's garbage, it's trash, and it's not gonna be a good movie. Well, I th again, I said it. It looks. It feels like somebody that made Morbius made this movie. It feels like the from the makers of Morbius. It's lackluster. It doesn't. It, it doesn't make any sense. Like the the character is first of all, the character is not Craven. I don't know who this guy is. There probably was an opportunity to like take this idea and make it into something else. Like I was thinking, what was it? I, I know you remember this show. There was a show about a dude that could transform into animals. Do you remember Man. what that? Man. Manimal, right? That's what I'm saying. They could have just said, you know what? Let's just take this idea of manimal and let's put this with a hunter and just let this guy go out and hunt all the hunters. And they could have did something. That, I'm, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making a joke. Obviously, it would have been ten times better than the shit that I'm looking at right now. Anyway, that's my. You know point why they didn't do this? Because remember, he gets high off this stuff, and they didn't yeah. want to seem like, oh man, he's doing drugs. Cause it got to be PC, right? How can I? Sell it was that? like, a, and and I think the um, let me see. The article actually mentions it. I'm gonna I'm skip past all. And most of this is just, yeah. This is where it's at right now. It kind of shows you the panel right here, and it says, uh, "Don't underestimate him, Craven." Blah 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 blah. He says, "Yeah, remember, I'm no ordinary hunter. I possess undreamed of strength and speed, which I obtained from drinking a secret potion stolen from a witch doctor." Blah 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 from an Af African tribe. So they could have went with that idea. They could have went with the herbs because that's like the other thing. 
but he never had like his own powers like he was super powered and the, and the article mentions that it's like this guy was just a, a regular guy that was a really good hunter but he needed that extra strength to go up against spider-man so he would take like drugs basically to kind of enhance everything about him and boom now i can go up against a guy like spider-man and it's like you said with this one in this case he was you know he was drinking a secret potion or whatever and it's like okay go with that go with the original ideas these were fine they worked why you got him like dripping lion blood into his? <laughs> is he got like? How does that work? Does he have? Let me see. I'm gonna bring up the trailer. Did he have like like radioactive lion blood? Is that what happens? And it's like you said. Look here we go. Look at this. When you see, oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Right there. Wait. No, no, go, 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 go. Forward, Where? forward, forward, forward. Keep going. Forward. Keep going. How far? No, 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 go back, back. When you see that Marvel symbol, when you see that oh. version of Marvel Center, you need to run. That symbol <laughs> there, that means it's off. That means, but it says that means, that means <laughs> hey, in association with, that means, oh man, hey, this, hey, man, this takes me back to the Incredible Hulk, like the Hulk, like this is like that kind of like you get subpar stuff, man. This Bro, right you getting subpar stuff. Meat. You getting subpar stuff with the MCU, right? But this is impossible meat, man. I want regular meat. This is not good. This is fake meat, right? This is pink slime. Get this pink slime. Where is it at? I want to see it. That was the dumbest thing I saw in this whole. Where is it at? I think it's this scene right here. Yeah, yeah. The little lion blood is dripping into his sores. I guess it's what radioactive lion blood has got like Spider Man radioactive. I, 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 how does that make him a superhuman where now he can speak and talk to the animals like Dr. Doolittle? It's stupid. It's stupid, T. I'm telling you. I'm I, Marvel, not nothing to say Marvel, Sony Marvel. They haven't figured it out, or Sony hasn't figured it out. Sony had an opportunity to sit side by side with the entire MCU when they were making Spider Man, uh, No Way Home, Far From Home, and Homecoming. They sat side by side with this company and they learned absolutely nothing. nothing. They learned absolutely nothing, T. Nothing. But yeah, you see the comments right here, folks. You got these cats. <laughs> First one is Craven Time. It's going to be Morbin Time all over again. How everybody was clowning, it's going to be that exact same thing. It's going to be it's like this guy Morbin said. I love when time. Craven. Huh? Mighty it's Morbin, the first time. It's time. Craven Time. <laughs> Craven Time. Mm. <laughs> This guy, I love when Craven gets written, bitten by a radioactive lion, turns to the camera and says, That's so Craven. <laughs> we got to, it's going to be nothing but jokes. Jokes galore, bro. Coming for the next, what? When does this movie come out? In October? So we got another three or four months of this. This thing is just going to be jokes, jokes, jokes. I don't know what Sony's going to do because this thing is going to land with an absolute dud. I don't know how much money they spent on this thing, but it's going to lose all of it. Because there's no way in hell they are going to make their money back. They're not going to break even whatsoever. I don't understand what Sony was doing, man. This is hilarious, man. A, this is going to be a big old flop, man. All the water is going to come out the pool with this one. This is, this <laughs> is terrible, dude. This is the one of the where he said, I'm craving some violence. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Craving. Craving. Like, that's got, dude, what is, are you, am I being punked? How could you release this script? And why, what are the stakes? Some villains are created. Like, what? I guess, I guess again, yeah. Like, there's plenty of blood in this. So, I, like I said, I give them credit for that. You know, they got some nice bloody, you know, kills. Guys getting their throat slit. He's biting off this dude's nose. <laughs> I, dude, this, hey. I know somebody is tearing his, just that right there. That is saying, what the, what? Biting off somebody's nose, or like, what did he do? Like, bro, ugh. bro, this is this is hilarious, man. This is hilarious, bro. I I am laughing every step of the way of this. I got some in my eye. I am laughing like a fool with this thing because, like, this entire movie is about to flop in the worst possible way. <laughs> do you it see is right about to flop in the worst possible way? Laughing? This might be worse than the flag. <laughs> this might be worse than Shazam. Do you see this? Do you see what John Campion has right here? Part. Craven uh, trailer part fantastic. Oh, John Campion is talking about. Oh shit! 
part what part, the fuck? fantastic part what the fuck? the only thing i could say the fantastic part is they're going hard with the blood they're going rated r they're going hard r okay i'm with you on that fantastic about this this is an awful movie about a crazy man nah nah nah, nah that, that's it that I, i'll give him credit for at least paying attention to that piece uh but yeah craven it, it looks like this thing is about to be hot garbage bro Hot, hot, hot ass garbage. Oh my, my eye is God, dude. It's about to be hot garbage, man. I don't understand. Again, you got you got to sit side by side with Kevin Feige, with you know, watching the Avengers in game. So you probably got some sessions with the Russo brothers. You know, you got to see this up close and personal. You know, Sony. Oh, okay, this is how you do your Spider-Man. This is how you do your Marvel Universe. Okay, we're going to build something with our Spider-Man characters. And from Venom, I actually liked Venom, the first one. Second Venom, trash. The Morbius, trash, trash, trash. And then now it's this, and this looks no better. This looks absolutely no better. And I can't believe that they haven't learned anything from dealing with Marvel for so long, bro. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> This is hilarious, man. Folks, I don't know what you guys think about this uh, entire travesty of this trailer, but you go ahead, jump down in the comments, give me your thoughts and your opinions on that. All right, T.